Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kira and I do devotionals every week on Thursdays. And just wanted to let you know, I have a series called Young Not Done that's going to start up on January 23rd. And it's a series where I sit down with some incredible people and talk about what God has been doing in their lives during quarantine and how they have grown. So please stay tuned to that, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when that launches and is released on January 23rd. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. But in getting into um, today, I was really praying on this this week and honestly it's Friday and this is now going up. So I apologize for my delay, but I sat down to do this yesterday and I was like, I feel like it's not fully formed. And so I've been praying about it. I'm like, Lord, <laughs> what do you want to say? And um, I've really been thinking this week on how God loves us. I think during this season of 2021, supposed to be looking different from 2020. And some of us have felt left down by that. I've talked to people who are like, it's just the same thing, just a different year. And the reminder that God loves us, that it's so simple, but it's still true. <laughs> he hasn't left us. He hasn't forgotten about us and he loves us. And even though this is a tough season, God is still with us. He is still for us and he still loves us and that will never change. And so today we're looking at 1 John chapter 4 verses 10 and 11. And I know this is short. So... Everything in the Bible is amazing. First John chapter 4 is incredible and it goes further into the love of God. And I'm just going to read these two verses today. It says, Love consists in this, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, if God loved us in this way, we must also love one another. And I love this. Let's just focus on this. This first verse, verse 10, love consists in this, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And so God loved us first. Even when we didn't choose him, he chose us. He chose all of us. God loves you. He has chosen you. And because he loves us, he sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. That word atoning, sacrifice, that phrase right there means that Jesus was stepping in to be the ultimate sacrifice so that there had to be no more sacrifices made in the temples, but rather we can come directly to God that Jesus lived and died a perfect life here on earth. And because of that, our sin no longer separates us from eternity with God. And so here, God's love is followed by an action. I think that's so key, so important. God's love is followed by an action. Love is just not a thought or a feeling that is flighty. It brings action. And the Bible talks about how God is love. And so when we look at this, God wasn't afraid to put it all on the line. He wasn't even afraid to send his own son for us because that's how much he loves us. That's the depth of his love. He didn't just sit in heaven thinking, I love them. They're cute. They're adorable. He said, no, 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 no. I love them and what they're doing. Their sin has separated them from me, and I don't want that. So I'm going to send my son as the atoning sacrifice so that they are no longer separated by their sin if they choose to believe in me. It's still a choice on our end whether we accept that or not. But God has already extended as much as possible to us because he loves us and i just want to remind you of that during this season that even though it feels like everything may still look and feel the same that there is a god in heaven who loves you who sent his son to die for you that this is his love that he's willing to sacrifice on our behalf so that we are no longer separated from him and i love verse 11 it says dear friends if god loved us in this way we must also love one another. And I love this. And further on in this chapter, it talks about um, because God loves us, we love others. And this idea that if God loved us in this way, we must love one another. That for us to mimic God, we have to love one another. Their love is key. And I think during this time of political unrest and just People are taking sides and in social issues, everyone's taking sides. 
whatever. It's really easy to forget about the love part and just want to be right. To just want to seek justice, but not in the name of Jesus. The Bible talks about we will be known by our love. And I think that that's so important to remember during this season that the love that God has and continually outstretched to us, we need to stretch out to others. That we are called to be Christ followers. And the word Christian actually means little Christ. Like we are supposed to mimic Christ. And what is the most defining attribute of him? It's love. And so I pray that we can look at ourselves and say, Holy Spirit, examine us and show us how we can love others more. God, help me to grow in this area of the fruit of the Spirit. It's not something we can conjure up on our own and just decide one day I'm going to love everyone and I can do it on my own will. No, we can't love like God has called us to by ourselves. We require God to help us in that. But I want to remind you today that First and foremost, God loves you. It doesn't matter if you've messed up a million times or a billion. He still loves you. He's still pursuing you. And as Christians, we are called to love one another. And so whatever that means that the world is looking like right now, whatever is going on in it, it doesn't matter because we are still called to love. It says that if God loved us in this way, we must love one another. And so in this, it's a call to be like Christ. And so I pray that we can do that even more this week. Please feel free to send in comments down below of what stood out to you. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to write those in. I'd love to pray for you. And I just pray you guys have an incredible week. And I will see you all next week. I love you guys. Bye.